And we continue now with our great American panel. All right, so last week when we talked at length about Obama takes his wife on this trip to uh, Broadway in New York, and it's all on, on our dime, D just two days before GM declares bankruptcy. Now, apparently, you know, after his public events in, in France, he's flying his family over for a taxpayer-paid vacation there. And I'm thinking, and then, of course, we have the New York flyover to get a picture of the Statue of Liberty. Is he out of touch? He is definitely out of touch. And I actually have been very pleased that today he has been with Angela Merkel. Right. And uh, she is kind of a fiscal hawk in chief. And I really like her. I, I, I like the way she sits. And there's a, it, it is a good touch point for the American people to see a foreign leader like that call us into accountability on fiscal issues. And when you have people who are losing their jobs, and as we were talking, the people are working less per hour per week. Mm -hmm. per, uh, we've gone from 41 hours a week down to 33.1 hours per week, Sean. And people are doing that in order to keep from losing their job. And then you have the president on another vacation. I think it's completely it's a, out of touch. The Fed chief is, is, is warning that if we don't get back to a balanced budget, we are headed for long-term structural problems. He's quadrupled the deficit and the debt in the four short months he's in office. He's taken vacations that some of our biggest companies are, are, are going bankrupt. And revenues to the government are down 34 percent. You explain to me how that's going to help the economy. Wait, wait, wait. You set me up as the Obama supporter? Well, you're the one that said to me I'm not supposed to agree with you, so. Uh, I agree. What I said was I what agree you with say, you. I on wish I never got elected. No, <laughs> I said I agree with you on an alarming number of things, but uh, no, no. Uh, my feeling is uh, I was opposed to the GM bailout. I think it's, it's bad when, you know, I spent a lot of time in the Soviet Union, okay? It's bad when the government gets into ownership of corporations. But is, is Obama trying to make a socialist? You know, he should have taken over Google. Well, time but, but we've got or, two or, car or, or, companies. You know. We've got major banks. We've got financial institutions that yep. want to dictate pay. Uh, he's it, literally spreading the terrible. wealth. Of it's terrible, and it's a mistake. But you know what? Because I think ah. GM should have gone into, oh, yeah. No, it's a mistake that he's spending our children and grandchildren's fortune. I That's agree. the mistake. I, oh, I totally agree. GM should have declared bankruptcy six months ago. All right, and we would have been in the Some same position. I think we have, we have to come understand, and I think you're making it patently clear, is that the face of America has changed. It's not changed for the next five or ten years or 15 no. years. It's changed forever. Um, you can abrogate contracts. You can you can stop contracts that Thank are in you. existence. Yes. Thank if, you. If, 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 if the government says so, you can decide who runs a company and how they run a company. And if you don't like the way they run right. the company, then you can defame them out of Washington. I agree. The rule now, of law is important. You know, we were conflating government and 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 corporate America. They're separate. They shouldn't be together. It's disturbing to a lot of people. And to me, I happen to be a Democrat. Yeah. It bothers me. It bothers See, me. See, Peter, I think I've had a positive influence over the years that we've had you on the program here. All right, so we agree on, on the economy. This is, this is, none of this is good. The numbers are staggering. It's unsustainable in the end. Now we've got a foreign policy problem that he seems to always want to apologize for America, calls America arrogant. You know, he goes out there. He's far more critical of Israel and, and frankly, did not make the case of how America has helped all these Muslim countries yes, exactly throughout right. the years. That's right. You yeah. know, why did he make that case? I, I, I think that was a big mistake as well. I, I, I really was disappointed that Obama did not make the case. You voted for him, didn't you? I sure did. Yeah. But that's a whole separate argument. Okay. But he did not make the case, and, and I'm, I'm very honest about this, um, that Americans sacrificed for Muslims in Somalia, in, in Afghanistan, in Kosovo, Kosovo. in Bosnia. Yep. For political reasons alone, he should have said that. I agree. And I, and I think that was a, a lost opportunity. Marshall. The democracies, recognizing that we have two democracies we did not have in the Middle East in 2001 with Afghanistan and with Iraq. And, you know, reading the New York Times editorial today, I think one of the things that they have missed is the fact that the policies of the Bush administration made it possible for Barack Obama you know, could, to be also, over in Egypt and give and give that speech. Women and women couldn't go to school. Women couldn't go to work. You know, even he meets with the Saudi king. If you're a woman in Saudi Arabia and you talk to a male that's not in your family, you are beaten. 
it, America's contributions and accomplishments in the Muslim world, whether you're talking about Bosnia, whether you're talking about tsunami relief in Indonesia, you're talking about all around the world, are, are incredible. We didn't talk about those things, and I'm hoping for the best out of this speech. But unfortunately, the speech is more worthy of a Nobel pre, uh, Peace Prize speech. Do we want our president to be the commander in chief or the pacifist in in, in chief? Did he, right. and, and, and so, last question, because you know, exit question. Where's Did he show? They're our friend. It didn't come through. I think he's showing the the extremists in the world. You know, we, we've battled fascism, totalitarianism, Nazism. The big battle today is against terrorism. I think he's showing nothing but weakness. Iran can have a nuclear weapon. I don't agree. You know, I do not agree. Iran can have nuclear power. We have solar power. We got about fifteen seconds. Don't forget, Condi Rice signed an agreement saying it's okay for Iran to have nuclear power. All right? A so, mistake. I think Obama, a mistake. I agree. Obama is Last showing, word. he's showing weakness, mm -hmm. and he's showing it to a region of the world that demands to see strength. Peace I, I through agree strength. That's Peace through strength. Yes. See, I have brought you so far. I am so proud of myself. <laughs> <laughs> I love this feeling. I mean, we don't always agree, but thank you. Thanks. Okay. And coming up...